sorry that I have this in the portrait. My camera will not, or my phone won't stick in the holder if I don't have it on the portrait rather than the landscape. So that was Kanawha Falls. We're heading into a town called Glen Ferris. Up here on the right, we have the historic Glen Ferris Inn been in existence since 1839. You can't really read the sign there. We have a bait shop over on the left. Actually, it used to be. Now it looks like it's a construction company. Um, the Glen Ferris Inn has a restaurant that's pretty popular among the locals, and it's pretty neat. Got a couple of churches coming up here on the left. Um, now we'll look straight. You can see the river out here. It's a really nice, serene looking river, right up river from the falls where it gets a little rougher. But we're gonna just drive up here to a town called Golly Bridge in a moment. And... Scenery's better in the summer because there are trees with leaves. Right now we're in the winter and it's kind of cold. as a speed trap. So this is the downtown. Used to be a little more robust back in the day before the coal mine started shutting down. There used to be a high school in the town here. It shut down. Still have a furniture store it looks like. Gas station. Over on the left is a fire station you may not see. Yeah, you're not going to see it. But now I'm going to take you up a hill and show you from the flatlands how a hill, living on a hill in West Virginia, can look. We're in Appalachia. This is West Virginia, though. I'm going to wait for, well, I didn't have to wait for this guy, but I will. So, here we go up the hill. Got to cross over the Railroad. Gotta keep the RPMs up kind of high because gotta make the hill. <laughs> this is about as tight as some of the European roads I have seen. You can barely get two cars if there are cars parked on the side like this one over here. You'll have to pull over to let another vehicle pass. But this is sort of a residential area in Golly Bridge. 